Hey, hello. Good evening. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Uh, hey guys, so it's Tarek here and today I want to talk about my trip to Euros or Europeans IBGF. It was actually a pretty nice weekend. Uh, I felt really ready for this competition as I prepared for uh, at least uh, two, three months uh, pretty with a lot of training and uh, like tactically thinking through what I wanted to do. Obviously, it didn't go my way, but we'll get to that part as well. But uh, yeah, I started out traveling down on... Um, on Friday or yeah Friday morning uh, and we got a long day there uh, I got to go to the arena and uh, see some other guys fighting you know the brown belts and and you know there's some teammates Chet the Vigo was fighting there as well uh, congratulations to him for getting the gold medal and so uh, already then uh, I was pretty good on weight the morning after uh, I was gonna check my weight around 10 because I had a fight around 10 45 uh, so I went in, got my way, way in, everything went fine. Then I found out maybe an hour after I was even warmed up and ready to go, you know, drinking electrolytes and everything. And uh, the guy didn't show up, unfortunately. Um, I can't really blame people for not showing up when the circumstances are still hard and difficult to travel around. So I don't know for sure, but I'm guessing it's probably something that um, I messed up his travel plans uh, and so unfortunately I didn't get a fight on Saturday but I had fought the weight so the weight was fine then I was ready for Sunday my first fight was uh, against uh, Aros guy from I think he's training out of no I don't know where he's training out of but he's at least representing Autos Jiu Jitsu and it went pretty long it was like an eight minute fight and uh, I got the footlock in the end I pr felt pretty like comfortable with the points and like he didn't really score on me so then I I knew I could like win on the points, but of course I'm always looking for a submission. So once I felt like the footlock was there and, and uh, my grip is tight, then I went for like a belly down. You guys probably know that I like that one really well. After that, uh, it was a, like a long period because uh, the semifinals wasn't until a little bit later. Uh, so I went back, uh, I think it was an hour or so, maybe one hour and a half, just chilling in the warm-up area. I even took like a little nap there, listening to some music. And my next fight was Tynan Dalpra. Um, so he's like, like top level, basically. You, you guys, if you've been to Jiu Jitsu uh, community, you know who's Tyn who Tynan Dalpra is. And for this fight, I did have some ideas um, on how to fight him, basically, uh, depending on kind of what kind of style of passing he was trying to do. Uh, of course, I was hoping him to try to do like a more like a smash oriented pass because that fits my style really well. Uh, but as soon as I got to the mat, we, uh, I kind of like noticed he was pacing a lot back and forth and he was like really eager for this fight. And I was thinking, like, man, that's cool, really cool. Like, like he's, he's focused and I'm pumped as well, right? And uh, funny enough, we go in, we start the fight and he starts with a little guard pull. And I'm like, okay, is this gonna be a, like a double guard pull fight? And funky enough, uh, he just, I don't know if it was a kind of like a fake double guard pull. I will have to ask him sometime. But what it did do was that I kind of initiated like a double guard pull pull where I didn't really have a good grip. And so I stretched out, got my arm, got a little like grip just enough so I don't get like a disadvantage from the ref. <laughs> Sat down and immediately he started walking to my left. And I mean, like he, I mean, he didn't walk to my left. He was running and jumping. So he was, uh, I have a really nice picture, perhaps I'll get it in this video as well, where he's basically off the ground, floating over me, and he's just like jumping to the side, to my left side. Uh, and from there, it just went south, basically. So he, he got a really nice grip on um, on my leg, so he pulled it to the side, and then he got a grip uh, on uh, my tricep here as well, which prevented me from turning into, to him and retaining my guard, basically. And I mean, like if you do one of those mistakes with a guy like him, it's gonna be a tough time to recover from that. So he got my back and I stood up and then he just, he did like a really sick finish there where he grabbed the opposite leg, kind of like a born arrow choke. Yeah, it looks really funky in one picture as well there. So yeah, it didn't go my way, my way, but it was really fun to fight him even though it was lasting like maybe one and a half minute. In one way you can get kind of respect 
the amount of work he put into it and probably he thought like he's been watching my fights and he knows what to do uh, so tactically he probably chose to do this to stop me from even getting into kind of my guard favorite guard positions right uh, and so he went on to fight Tommy which was also a really cool match to watch uh, I also got to watch Aspen Matisse win gold in his division, lightweight division. So respect to that. Congratulations to him. Uh, that was a tough final there as well. Uh, there were some rough leg locks <laughs> involving his leg there, but he's he has like a really slick back take kind of setup from there, even though he had some pops uh, back and forth and so uh, yeah and also back to the fight with Tommy Tommy unfortunately lost uh, against Tynan Dalpra I mean he was really on fire that day but uh, probably there would be a little bit of a Hagerson camp or maybe we bring Tommy here it depends on what's easiest but uh, we will have to go a little bit through tactics on how to go against Tynan Dalpra <laughs> in future uh, at least for worlds right so uh yeah that was pretty much the fights uh unfortunately i didn't do the open weight this time as it was kind of like placed time wise so it would mess up my weight if i went into the weight division and at that time i didn't even know if my fighter or the guy i was gonna fight would show up before to sign it up so there's a lot of factors that came into this decision and and the fact that i'm fighting some of the top world guys meaning that i i don't want to be wasting my chance on on trying to do my best as well no so that's it for today guys uh i hope this was a fun little vlog um you know i like these voiceovers because it's easier for me to talk over but if you prefer that i talk as i'm in the action uh please say that in the comments below or if you have any other feedback yeah. Just put it there and I will make sure to look at it. And I'm happy to do more of these variations of videos. So it's not just technique videos in my channel. But as you can understand, there's a lot more work into these videos than the other ones, right? Thank you guys for watching. And as always, please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.